Hello and welcome. This is a quick demonstration on how to install proxy chains and Tor browser using your root account. Normally, one of any of these services would not let you run as root service, but there's a way to get around. And I'm going to demonstrate how to install proxy chains, latest version proxy chain 4 and Tor browser, and use these um, tools for anonymous browsing. And this video is uh, recorded for educational purposes only. So let's go ahead and make sure your system's updated. I just ran the uname dash command to just to show you I'm running Kali, I'm logged in as root user here, and I'm updated to the latest 2022 version with proxy chain. So uh, for the first thing we need to do, uh, I already ran this command apt, I run the apt command to apt install proxy chains. That will install the older version of proxy chains, but if you want to use the latest version of the proxy chain, just use the apt install tor. That should install you the proxy chains versions. Latest version, that's version 4, uh, that should have a configuration file on your etc folder. If you want to lock it, you can use the locate command to find the pro uh, proxy chains configuration file. We need to make some basic changes for these files before we go further. So for to do that, I am going to go ahead and use the nano editor. Um, and if you look at it here, I have the older version as well as I should have the proxy chain version 4 configuration file. And as you can see from the top, this is the latest version, version 4. And we need to make a few changes. Uh, for an example, this is just a setup uh, instruction video. So I am not going to explain you all the different uh, configurations you could change. For an example, instead of the strict chain, our proxies, we are going to use the random chain. So uncomment the uh, strict comment the strict chain and uncomment the random chain. One more thing we need to change for the down. Actually, if you want to read further, you can read what strict chain is, what's the random chain, what each one does. Uh, also, make sure your proxy uh, DNS here is uncomment. This is to we will find out uh, when we do the DNS leaks test uh, uh, how we can use to hide our DNS settings, as well as if you go further down, we need to add one more socket here. So we're gonna use this um, control X command to copy this. I'm gonna paste this here and I'm gonna use SOC5 for our second uh, proxy list here. Okay, and all you have to do is control X to save, press yes, press enter. So if you try to run this, like for an example, uh, let's say if the service is running, service uh, tow, if you type status and you'll find out um, it's not running. So you need to make sure uh, we start the service. Q to end, go back top of the screen, uh, do start. That should start the tow services and we can use the status command to see if it's running. So that's good. Uh, Q to exit from it. And then uh, we need to make sure. So if I actually run right now, as it is, it's not going to work. You will you will able to open a browser, but you're going to see that it's going to tell you that, hey, uh, if you do a DNS leak test or anything, it's not going to see you. Your browser is not hidden because you're running it as root. If you install this as a regular user, like Kali, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is use the x, x host command xhost command is a command that you could use to uh, add different services to run as a specific user. You can add this to a host name or you can add it to a user and then it makes that user run specific service. So this is the command as you could see here. I already ran this command. So you tell xhost to add the local user Kali, I have a user called Kali here, or the host name as Kali, uh, to run this specific service under this specific user. So once I did that, it's gonna say, we should get the message here, local user Kali being added to the access control list. This is, this is, a, this is a permission, right? Access control list, if you're familiar with access control list, is we are giving access control to a specific service or for a username. So once you do that, you should be able to start the Tor browser since we have the start the services. Um, you, you don't have to do so the sudo here. So you can start the sudo and you're gonna tell, hey, run this service as a, a one of the local users. So you use dash u to specify the user and dash h to specify what what uh, type of pro, uh, service that you need to run with the specific user. Since remember, we have two versions of proxy. I should have proxy chains 4. Looks like it's 
writing it out. So, but let's run proxy chains for uh, since um, that's one of the services we have. So we are trying to run start proxy chains, and we're trying to run proxy chains in Firefox browser. Proxy chains are going to open Firefox browser, and it's going to open the uh, web address www.dnsleaktest. Um, uh, let's before I run that, let's make sure since I only edited the proxy chains for. Um, I'm gonna uh, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so it's gonna open a browser, and you can see at the background it's running. So it, this tells me that this version is running right now. It's um, completely a different IP address. This is not one of my IP addresses, and you could see that proxy chains working properly. Uh, another th way to check this is um, um, run uh, some of the onion links. So I should have some of the. Um, onion links here for an example uh, let's go here this is, I'm all doing this for educational purposes to show for my class uh, so I am running um, this is the wiki if I'm correct um, dark web onion link so, so you could see it opens but if I open a regular browser um, let's go ahead and open a Firefox browser here and if I add that page here you should see that um, I won't be able to access um, this is accessing on it so maybe this is not one of the onion yep this is not one of the actual onion web server right side so let's see I know there's a Facebook page I open it on my onion browser for the duck duck goal let's try that one so if I copy this that's my onion browser um, if I copy this on that specific browser I open see you could see that it's not running right so if I go in here it's not gonna run so I could uh, run that within the proxy chains. Um, so to do that, close this tab, go back here. Um, so open that specific links using the proxy chains. I'm going to go ahead and paste that link since it's a really long link. If I press enter, uh, for some reason, it's still not opening on this specific link. So, but the DNS leak test did work tell me that I am running on a yeah that's not my IP address so maybe some of these links are only accessible by using the onion browser I'm gonna go ahead and try one more thing uh, like the wiki page available for let's see if I can copy this page and paste it here it is this this probably has to be related to um, the proxy chains I'm running here um, so, but we know that when this browsing, I know definitely this is not my IP address, that parts work. So the next thing I'm going to show here, let's close this, and once you uh, install, so you need to go ahead and install the Tor browser as well. So that's pretty easy, you, everybody should be able to go ahead and install the Tor browser, and if you want to see the command, I can show this really quick here, it should be in my history. Uh, first thing you need to do is, uh, that's installing the Tor. This is the stuff I need to remove. Let's go back. I should have used Control R to find. Um, okay. That's still not proxy chains. Yeah. So you need to do apt install tow browser launcher. Okay. Once you run that command, run the tow browser launcher. But what you need to do here. Um, you need to run this as the same command that we did before. If you do this as it is, you're going to get an uh, error message saying Tor browser cannot be run as root. So that's the issue. So again, what's the command to do this? If you want to launch this, I already have it launched, but I can I'll show you. Use the sudo command and then tell it to use the dash u. Again, make sure you run the xos command before you need to do only once. And as a Kali, any local use that you have on your system and then specify dash h to the specific service that we now run and that should launch the Tor browser um, as you could see Tor browser is already running I already have this running that's why I got that message there uh, only thing I need to do some research on why this uh, links uh, didn't for an example why this uh, for example DuckDuckGo service didn't run when I ran the uh, proxy chains in Firefox. So that's something I need to research on. Maybe some of these link looking for the Tor browser. It doesn't run on Firefox, right? That's maybe 
that's what I'm thinking uh, because a proxy chain is it's a different service proxy chain uh, will hide you like right now this browser if I run this and if I go to www.google.com this should uh, you should see this shouldn't be local Google running so and normally Google will tell you on the bottom sometimes where are you browsing from uh, the country you're browsing from if you if you keep refreshing it sometimes it goes to different uh, locations as well um, but you could see on the back here underneath your proxy chains running through multiple different proxies uh, I'm just trying to like I'll refresh once more before I stop the video see if I can pop let it pop up on the bottom to tell where I am running from does not show that now let's, uh, let's try another website cnn.com I don't think this is going to do anything to show you where you're running from okay probably not uh, anyway, but the proxy chain is running, it's running as true, that's the purpose of this video. So if you anybody having issues to run proxy chains as a root user, that's what you need to check. I will also tell show you guys nano the, the other configuration file I edited. This is the older version of proxy version three, same dynamic chains, and all you have to change, make sure you are proxy DNS is enabled as well as add the two proxies. Uh, if you have any questions, comments on the video, let me know. Thanks for watching.